Soka. Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 13th question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 1. This is from the Blue Book app. And the question reads, Ross opened a savings account at a bank. The table shows the exponential relationship between T in years since Rosa. Let me underline that. T in years since Rosa opened the account and the total amount N in dollars in the account. If Rosa made no additional deposits or withdrawals, which of the following equations best represents the relationship between T and N? So you might not recognize this, but whenever you've got two rows, or in this case, we've got two columns, they're just coordinates. And if your answer choices are equations like this. So in any of these cases, usually the easiest way to do, and this is a way that anyone can solve this question, is you just treat them as coordinates and you just plug them in as coordinates. Now, if you notice, all the answer choices are in exponential form. Usually exponential form is the initial is on the left of the parentheses. Inside the parentheses is one plus or minus the decimal equivalent of the percent, and your exponent some form of time. If you know that form, you might know the answer right away, but of course you'd want to investigate and make sure that it is true. So I think the easiest thing to do is you plug in zero as your exponent here. Zero is, as you underlined, T in years, always underline what the exponents, what the variables stand for. If zero is T in years, then you should get 604 as your N. And one thing you need to know is you need to know that anything to the zero power is one. Keeping that in mind, answer choice A, if you plug in zero as your exponent, you're gonna get one, we need 604. Answer choice B, we get one, we need 604. Answer to C, we plug in one, then we get one plus 0 .004, and then you get 1.004 inside the parentheses to the zero power is gonna be one times 604, we'll give you 604. So it looks like C is your correct answer. Answer to is D, um, in the parentheses you get 605, but you raise it to zero power, it turns into one, you get 0 .004 as your answer there. So your only answer, possible answer is C here. And if you didn't know what um, anything to the zero powers, you could literally plug this into Desmos exactly as it appears. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with these exponential form questions. Is there any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ECT? Leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.